hear that this is really good. It doesn't turn your hair white. Yes, girl, I came in here with a patch on my face. I don't care. I wanna know what brand is the best. And he was like, yeah, okay, cool. I can get you in Monday at 10. And he was like, um, I did relocate. But y'all, I did a thing this morning. Tonight we are having this from HelloFresh. Y'all haven't cooked on Hello, well, I haven't cooked HelloFresh with you guys in forever. And I already started, like, the food is actually almost done. I just whipped the camera out so we can vlog. But yeah, the garlic butter shrimp scampi. And I must be tripping because they usually have the butter already. Like the butter usually comes in packets like these, like the um, the garlic butter. But I actually have to make the butter with this recipe. <sighs> and I don't feel like doing that. Uh, Y'all. But hey girl, <laughs> welcome back to another vlog. Okay, I'm gonna go back to watching my YouTube videos. I'm catching up on vlogs and I have my phone. Let me show y'all where I got my phone at. <laughs> this, this is where, <laughs> like when I'm in the kitchen cooking, this is where I put my phone in between the knobs on the cabinet and it worked. See, this is why I can't do too many things at once. This is already boiling over. This is what I be doing y'all to the top. Like if it's boiling over, I just take it off halfway like that. <laughs> I just made the butter and I don't even know how I feel about it, y'all. That's supposed to be the garlic butter. So I had to melt three tablespoons of butter. Um, let me see, it says three tablespoons of butter, add half Parmesan, pinch of garlic, pinch of chili, fra chili flakes, salt and pepper. And it also said lemon zest, but I don't want lemon zest in this, but it looked nasty, y'all. I am I am just, oh, okay. But I gotta put it in here as I already mixed everything together. This looks so dry. So we got the shrimp, the noodles, the um, broccoli, but I will say it's seasoned to the T, girl. I seasoned this so freaking good. So hopefully that this, um, hopefully this butter that I gotta add in here makes it taste good. I don't know, but I seasoned the broccoli really good, the shrimp really good. I know it looks like there's like no seasoning in here, but I seasoned it really good. And yeah, so let me add this butter and see what it looks like. I'm supposed to add the reserved pasta water too, which I set to the side. Oh my gosh, y'all, if this makes it nasty, I'm gonna be so mad because I'm hungry. Should have got a spoon for this. Y'all, Robert can lick like, oh, it is so disgusting, but he will take this. Like I should have had him in here, but he's out walking, but he will literally put his finger in this bowl to taste it. Butter, straight up butter. He will put his finger in here to taste it. That's just how it doesn't affect him. But I can't, I cannot lick butter by itself. Like I, I can't, I have to have butter on something. I can't just, you know, take my finger and, you know, taste it like that, no. So probably should have had him in here while I was doing this so he could at least taste it to see if it's good. But I need to mix it in to um, before I taste it because I am not, oh, the reserve pasta cooking water. Oops, we're gonna add some of that in here. I'm not gonna add the whole thing because I wanna see how this mixes in together. All right, y'all. Hopefully this is good. So I'm trying to think, do I want some wine tonight or do I not? We also been trying out these little drinks. They're called like, um, they're called poppies. So we've been enjoying those. So I might just drink one of those with this, I don't know. But let me try it, let me try this, let me share it, let me try it. Y'all wanna try it, y'all wanna try it. Look, y'all try it first. Oh, mm. I 
I can just eat shrimp by itself, girl. I don't even need it with pasta, but it's good. It's seasoned good. Now let me try the actual pasta. There's a little kick to it because I put chili peppers in this. Mmm! need to um, because I think I said add the rest of the parmesan oh there's a kick I probably add too much chili pepper but it's good it's really good I think it said add the rest yeah the remaining parmesan I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna have him use this on his plate because I don't need any more like nothing else added to this this is so good oh my gosh y'all I now know how to make garlic butter because <laughs> before I've never, I've never made garlic butter because like I said, they always have it in the bag where you don't have to make it. It's already made, but this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and make my plate. freaking out again we'll talk about that in a minute but anyway um yeah i'm back home i didn't vlog any on the trip well i did like did you know little clips here and there on my phone for like tiktok and instagram and stuff like that so i'll probably have them pop up if you guys haven't seen them already popping up on the screen anyway yeah so i went to stay with my best friend ashley her daughter had spring break and they wanted me to come with them we went to orlando um on tuesday and I got back on Friday. So I actually went to her house on that Saturday and I stayed with them and then we drove to Orlando cause she's like not even far from Orlando. Um, but yeah, I just hung out with her the entire week and now I'm back home doing my skincare. I just got out of the shower. I put on some of this body butter that a brand sent me. It's from Maylie's. It's called Get Showy and I like it. I like the smell of it mostly, but I don't know how I feel about the color of it. Like I've never had a body cream that's actually like this dark. I mean, they're usually like white. This is a pink color. And I noticed yesterday, cause I used it yesterday too, last night actually. Um, I used it last night, put it all over my body and um, I don't know why, but I washed my hands. And when I was washing my hands, I saw that the water was kind of turning pink. And I'm wondering if I wear like white clothes, would it stain my clothes pink? I don't know, it was kind of weird, but I mean, the water wasn't that, that pink. I could just see like a, a slight pink tint in the water when I was washing my hands. So I'm wondering if this will um, stain my clothes. I am not entirely sure, but I'm gonna scoop some out so y'all can see the color. See how pink it is? But it smells really good. It smells really fresh. Mm, it smells really really good but excuse me yeah they sent me that and they also sent me a couple of other products but I was mostly excited about the body butter because y'all know I love me some body butter so yeah yesterday well last night was my first time um you know really using it because when I first when I first got it out opened it I just dipped my finger in it and put some on my hands um, but last night was the first time I actually put it all over my body and I love the way my skin is feeling with this stuff on. I'm just kind of questioning the color, but yeah, have this all over right now. And yeah, my skin is freaking out again. Like I'm, I've been having these breakouts and it always gets like this every time I get on a plane. So I'm using the Fenty Skin, Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean. Yes. Mm -mm. And I washed my hair because it desperately needed washing. I'm about to put on some clothes, just some wear around the house clothes. And then we are going to go in there and do my hair. I'm not going to take the mask off just yet. I'm just going to keep it on until I'm done doing my hair. Like I can barely talk 
So I'm probably talking funny because my skin is tight with this mask on. But yeah, girl, we are back on our regular scheduled program. I um, have a couple of campaigns I need to shoot for. Um, but I'm not going to do that until next week. Yeah, I just want to lay low today and tomorrow so I can just, you know, get my rest in because we stayed up. Well, no, I take that back. Ashley and I didn't go to sleep like when, let me see, was it the first night? It was one of the nights we um, went to bed at like 9 30, 10 o'clock, and we were like, This is how you know we're old. Because I forgot what night it was, but we were like, It's time for bed. We're tired. <laughs> um, but there were a few nights that we did stay up like pretty much all night. Um, but anyway, I still want to get my rest in because I am tired so i'm not doing much today i'm just doing my little self-care that's all i'm doing today after i do my hair i am going to what, what am i gonna do i cleaned before i went on the trip because i always like to clean the house before going anywhere so when i come back that's what i need to do i need to unpack i'm gonna unpack but anyway, yeah, when I come back home, I always like to come back home to a clean house. So I always make sure to clean up before actually leaving on vacation. But yes, girl. Okay, let me do, get something to put on. We're gonna look, actually I'll just keep the robe on for now since I'm doing my hair because I don't wanna, you know, drippity drip drip on whatever I put on because my hair is still kind of wet. So let's do our hair. And then let's go rinse off, let's rinse off the mask. I'm just gonna keep it on until the hair is done. I'm probably gonna do space buns or a little bitty ball at the top of my head because um, I'm just gonna be rocking my natural hair. I only wanted to wear that wig, that long wig, because I was, you know, on vacation. I didn't want to. Why did I just do that? Why I can't smile? Oh my god, my face is so tight. But yeah, I didn't have braids this time. Usually I get braids. Instead of getting braids, I just slicked my hair back, my natural hair, put on my wig cap, and then threw on the wig so I wouldn't have to do anything to it while I was away. But... Yeah, I just want to rock, rock my natural hair. So let's go in the other bathroom so we can do the hair. Because that's where all my hair products are. So let's go. Okay, I'm going to be quick. I'm going to use the same products I've been using. The um, oil for my scalp and then this leave-in conditioner from Audra Beauty. And y'all, I got a new like um, edge control. It's called the Gummy Professional styling wax and i hear that this is really good it doesn't turn your hair white and that's one thing i definitely needed in an edge control and it also doesn't like let your hair frizz up my hair tends to frizz so um i'm gonna try this i like the edge booster but i really want to try this out since you know there were good reviews on it i haven't opened it up this will be my first time using it but yeah i'm just gonna quickly do my hair Put it up in a like a little bee ball, doo doo ball. <laughs> mm. All right, here's a little fro, you guys. A little, <laughs> a little fro. Okay, it's gonna take some of this oil and just put it throughout my hair, just on my scalp, and then rub it in. Now I'm gonna take the, I don't like the sprayer, hate it, I hate it, hate it, hate it. So I just take it like this and get the product out like that and then put it throughout the hair. This just makes my hair really soft and easy to manage. And that's pretty much all I've been doing when I want like to do something really quick after washing my hair. 
and just comb through my hair. Oh, it smells good. Ooh. Kind of smells like raspberry. Oh, the product is like on the side. I think it just kind of melted on the, I don't know. But it's all on the side. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, this. This is what the color looks like. And I'm just gonna put it on my edges. And then hopefully it stays. <laughs> Ooh, put too much on right there. Do a little bit. I'm gonna wrap it together on the side behind my ear. Since I'm pulling it all the way back, I gotta get the sides too. And a little bit on the back. Just a little bit, not too much. I don't like too much edge control on the back of my head. Mostly just in the front. Because the front is what frizzes up faster. And it's what you see more of. All right. So let's see how my hair is getting slick already. I'm going to use this brush, this TGIN brush that I got from Sephora. And just, this is just going to help slick it. Look at that. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I see something. I see something. I will say this brush isn't as hard as I would like it to be when I'm doing something like this. Um, the bristles are pretty soft. When I do stuff like this, I want the brush to be like really stiff and, you know, hard so it could be easy to grip the hair. I wonder how this would look. I'm putting a little bit more on, y'all. This is what I be doing, y'all. Don't judge. Put a little bit more on to help slick it back. And I'm going to show you all the rubber bands I use when I do my ponytails. Because I can't use regular, like, I can't use stuff like this. I can't because when I start, you know, putting it in, some of my hair starts to come out and I don't have a good grip on it. So I'm going to show you what I use. All right, this is what I do. After I got it all slicked back like that, I take, I just pull it back with my hands, but I'm not ready to put the rubber band on. I take my comb and I kind of just oop, comb it up into my hands and kind of pull at the hair like this. Just pull it some so I can have some length in the ponytail. Just pull it. Okay, this is the rubber band that I use. You see how it has like little hooks on each side? You just hook it in your hair. And I like to start in the back. Hook it where your hand is, as close as possible to the puff. Hook it and, oops, and just pull it around. Kind of like you're wrapping those, you know, remember those little balls from when you were little? The little ball hair bows with the two balls on each end. You just wrap it just like that. Wrap it around. And that way the hair ooh, doesn't slide out. And then you tuck the hook under. And that is how I do my little ball at the top. And I take a clear rubber band and Put it on one time and that's how I do my little bitty ball at the top just like that 
I wish it was higher. I should have went higher with it, but it's fine. But that's how I do it. And I just got me some new, ooh, some more wraps to wrap the side of my hair. I don't want to do baby hair. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to do this. And I keep this on for a little bit until it's like almost dry. I'm gonna do two. And boom, that's how I do my little slick back mini bun. I just let it sit for however long I want. And I'm gonna do that while I rinse this mask off because it is time to take it off. Okay, we're done. We are done. I like using these little towels that I got from Amazon to just pat dry my face. I've been testing out these products from Strivic 10. I took these with me to Florida and I'm actually going to be working with them later on. Um, so I wanted to like, you know, really use the products. That's what I'm, one thing about me is I like to try products out first before actually, you know, coming on camera and saying, oh, these are good when I haven't really tried the product, you know? So I've been testing this out for a while. I really like the moisturizer. Like, this is my favorite thing. Um, I'm gonna put on some of the eye cream, though, because my eyes have been feeling dry. This is the Multi-Action Super C Dark Circle Eye Cream. I'm gonna put some on just under my eyes. I like how it smells, too. Like, it has a nice, fresh, Set to it. Now what I haven't been using is the multi-action super C retinol. So this is gonna be my first time trying this out on camera with you guys because I took a little break from the other retinol that I was using so my skin can kind of recover. Um, but we're gonna try this out and see if this also smells like the products. But a little bit. So yeah, it's vitamin C. I'm gonna read it. Let me read it for y'all. Um, Brighten Correct Vitamin C Serum. So you put this on before the moisturizer. But yeah, I really like that moisturizer though. So I'm gonna put that on after this. This feels nice. Okay. Now I'm gonna pop on my favorite the moisturizer this has um it's a super c spf 30 moisturizer so that's another reason why i took it on me on the trip because it has spf in it so on the days i didn't want to wear my makeup i'll just put this on because i wore the um l cosmetics sunscreen but i like to wear that under my makeup when i don't have any other like product to mix in with it because I feel like it just takes forever to mix like to just rub in but this literally just melts look at that look at my skin look how glowy it looks it just melts in but yeah I've been testing this stuff out and so far the moisturizer is my absolute favorite of them all I mean even though I just I literally just tried out the serum with you guys like a few minutes ago but between the moisturizer and the eye serum the moisturizer is my favorite i just like how my skin glows with it and i like that it has spf in it and vitamin c so 
yeah and i'm still in the testing phases before i actually make the content i'm just testing it out right now and so far so good i'm looking for my lip okay i'm just gonna use this fenty lip oil on my lips i feel like we've been in the bathroom for the past two to three hours <laughs> all right let's go put some clothes on and I think I got a package at the door, so I'm gonna check packages. And yeah. So I just pulled up Target. I need to get some more patches. Um, my well, they have Mighty patches, but I know they just started selling Curology. And the one I'm wearing, yes, girl, I came in here with a patch on my face. I don't care. But this one is from Curology. This is my last one, and I need to get another pack. So, I need to get some of that. And I kind of want to get maybe a couple of things from the grocery aisle. Um, What else do I need to get in here? I'm going to make a little list, because every time I go in here without a list, I do damage, and... I don't even want to tell y'all the damage I did the other week. Um, let's, let's just make a list. And it's pretty chilly today. Like, y'all, it's been hot. But, girl, it is cold today. Like, cold, cold. I got my whole sweatsuit on today. Uh, okay, let's make a little list. Target. Mighty Patch. Patches. Um, cucumber, tomato. I'd rather get this stuff from Publix though. Cucumbers and tomatoes, I'd rather get from Publix. Because I want to make like a cucumber salad. I saw someone make it on TikTok and it just looks so delicious. Cucumber, tomato, balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinaigrette, um, onions, and just some other things that I like that I know would look not look but that i know would pair really good together that will taste really good so but i'm just gonna put it on the list just in case they do have that in here but i rather honestly and truly i'd rather get the stuff like the grocery stuff from Publix <laughs> um but i'm still gonna put it on here balsamic y'all know what i want to make when i want to learn to make the uh the kava dressing that's always out every time i get it every time i order kava is the garlic dressing ah it's so good and they always sell out i literally have to get kava like early in the day because if i get it like anytime after four o'clock they're out of that dressing but i want to learn how to make it that's the thing i want to learn how to make it because if i learn how to make it i know i would know how to do my own kava bowl like i wouldn't even have to go to kava because I could, like, everything that I order in the kava bowl is simple. It's just rice, cucumber. No, no. Rice, grilled chicken, tomato, cucumber, roasted corn, avocado, balsamic vinaigrette, and the garlic dressing. And that's literally it. That's all I put in my bowl. Oh, and um, lettuce. Either romaine lettuce or the super greens. It's pretty much the same thing that I get when I go to, well, when I was eating Chipotle. And I know Chipotle and kava are like two different things. I know some people are like, why would you compare kava to Chipotle when they're totally opposites? But I compare it to Chipo Chipotle because I order literally the same thing. <laughs> so Chipotle, I get the um, brown rice, lettuce, um, grilled chicken, corn, tomato. But the tomato is like a salsa, um, but you know, it's kind of like the same thing that I get in kava. And instead of the avocado, I put like the guacamole, but I put the guacamole on the side. And it's kind of similar. It's like almost in a, similar to kava. And that's why I got, um, that's why it wasn't really hard for me to try to figure out what I wanted to um, eat when I tried kava the first time. I was like, I'm just going to order what I order at Chipotle and see if it's better. And it's actually better. I feel like kava has better like seasoning, especially on their chicken and rice. It's just, mm, 
It's so good. Um, but yeah, anyway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was trying to make my list and I just got it talking. Can I get a venti iced matcha? Yeah. With white mocha? Um, and can, can I get the cold foam on top as well? Matcha latte with white mocha and yes. sweet cream. Thank you. Okay, who has the best balsamic vinaigrette dressing? Because right now, I'm looking at the Good and Gather. I might go ahead and get this. But I want to know what brand is the best. Because I really don't be buying this. I like balsamic vinaigrette. But I don't know, like, the best brand. So, let me know. But for now, we're just going to get this one. Should I? Should I? Or should I? I think I should. Guys, they are clear out of the Mighty Patches. I ended up finding these two randomly sitting up there. So I'm gonna grab these two. And they don't have any from Curology. I need to get a couple more of these. The best exfoliating washcloths. One thing that I necessarily didn't need, but I got it anyway, this little stool thing. I think this looks so cute on the bathroom um, countertop and put like my skincare products. I want to do my nails, y'all. So I ended up going to uh, get my nails done two weeks ago. Um, and it's so tight, like it's time for me to get a fill in. But I messaged the nail tech because he did the best job on my nails. Um, I messaged the nail tech to make an appointment and he was like, yeah, okay, cool. I can get you in Monday at 10. And he was like, um, I did relocate. Every single time I find somebody that does my nails, per like every single time I find someone that does a great job on my nails, they end up relocating. And now he's in Atlanta and I am not driving to Atlanta. Like I try to avoid driving to Atlanta as much as I can because I don't like the traffic and I don't know, I just get anxiety every time I go to Atlanta. So I just, I just can't. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna do them myself. So we're just gonna go home and, cause I have a drill that I can use because it looks a little crazy so I think I'm just gonna drill them down really good file them down really good and just paint them myself because this shape is perfect the shape is perfect like he didn't cut me at all and he was so freaking fast like when I say he was the fastest I've ever had he was so fast and I, I'm just mad that you know he is gone now so yeah Whatever, let's go home. All right, back home, just got out the shower, put on my comfortable clothes. I can't believe how cold it is today. Like, it just, those, this Georgia weather is crazy. But y'all, I did a thing this morning. I didn't even tell y'all when we were in the car earlier at Target. Um, I brought my nail stuff down here so I can do my nails on this little desk. But y'all, I applied for the Sephora squad. So I sat down with a few people this time around and just really talked and I had, um, you know, them just, you know, kind of encouraged me to apply this year. I know I was talking with Octavia B when we went on our trip last month to Tennessee. Um, if y'all missed that vlog check it out. <laughs> but I went to Tennessee with a few other influencers and we were all at the table just talking about um, just things that we are looking forward to for this year and just things that we want to do as far as like our content and all of that. And I remember Octavia turning to me and she's at, she asked me if um, 
I was going to be applying for the Sephora squad. And I was like, I don't think so. And she was like, Andrea, <laughs> why not? What are you doing? I think you'll be the perfect fit for the Sephora squad. And I just, I don't know. I just don't like the part where we have to ask our followers to submit um, testimonials for us. Like, I don't like that. I've never been the type to like, like, I don't like asking people for things. And I know, why am I just sitting here talking? I need to do my nails while I'm talking. But yeah, I don't like, I really don't like asking people for things. And that's what kind of um, drew me away from it the last few years. I had to plug that in. But yeah, I don't like asking people for things. And I always, I just feel weird asking you guys to submit testimonials for me so that I can be chosen to be on the, now I don't even, honestly and truly, I don't know how it works behind the scenes. Like, I don't know how, are they really reading the testimonials for each contestant? Like, are they, or are they just reading what we actually submitted ourselves? Cause we have to put in, here I am talking and not, I can't multitask, I really can't. We have to write, um, put in why we want to be on the Sephora squad, you know, um, what we expect from it and all of that. My team also asked me um, if I was gonna be applying this year, my management team, and I kind of told them the same thing. I was like, I don't know. But I know I just need to get out of my head. I know I do. Um, so here we are. This thing, I am not a professional. There's literally no pressure, okay? No, listen girl, there is no pressure. If you want to submit a testimonial for me, you can. If you don't, don't. Don't stress yourself out about it. Um, but it's literally no pressure. I just dropped this. This might be harder than I thought it would be because I'm uh, trying to get all the, the color off because I don't have any. I don't have acetone. 100% acetone. This is going to be hard. But yeah, girl, if you are one of the ones that have been talking with me and about the Sephora squad, um, you know, in our messages and also in person, because I know some of you, um, I know there have been a couple of people um, that I've been speaking with that I know outside of YouTube that have been, you know, trying to encourage me or just hype me up and just tell me that I, you know, can do it. Thank you. Because I went ahead and put the application in. This is how it looks. So all I have to do is just buff it some more. And then I'm going to put some, I probably, let me see. I'm going to use a bubble bath. And I'm probably just going to do one coat of this on the nails. Now I'm going to file them down. Get that shape back. All right, I'm done with this hand. This is how the nails came out. Really pretty. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. 